Mumford and Sons lifestyle and how he spends his money. Mumford and Sons is a British rock band that has taken the world by storm over the past few years. The band, which consists of Marcus Mumford, Ben Lovett, Winston Marshall, and Ted Dwayne, formed in 2007 and has since. And Sons Live, you are missing out on one of the best live bands in the world today. If you have the chance to see them, don't hesitate, you won't be disappointed. Released three studio albums, Sign No More 2010, Babble 2012, and Wilder Mind 2015, in addition to their studio albums. The band has also released three live albums, Live at Shepherd's Bush Empire 2011, The Road to Red Rocks 2012, and Live from South Africa, Death and Thunder 2017, Mumford and Sons debut album, Sign No More was released in 2010 and was an instant success, debuting at number 4 on the UK Albums Chart and number 2 on the US Billboard 200. The album was nominated for the Grammy Award for Best Folk Album at the 54th Annual Grammy Awards. The band's second album, Babel, was released in 2012 and was an even bigger success than their debut, debuting at number 1 on both the UK Albums Chart and the US Billboard 200. The album was nominated for the Grammy Award for Album of the Year and won the Grammy Award for Best Americana Album, the band's third album. Wilder Mind was released in 2015 and was once again a huge success, debuting at number one on both the UK Albums Chart and the US Billboard 200. Mumford & Sons have won numerous awards, including the Grammy Award for Album of the Year Babel, the Brit Award for British Album of the Year Babel, and the N. Emmy Award for Best British Band. The band has also been nominated for six Grammy Awards, five Brit Awards, and for N. Emmy Awards. In addition to their success in the studio, Mumford & Sons is also an incredible live band. The band has toured extensively all over the world, playing sold-out shows to millions of fans. In 2013, the band embarked on a world tour in support of their album Babel. The tour began in Australia and New Zealand in February, followed by shows in Asia, Europe, and North America. The tour concluded in South Africa in August. If you haven't seen Mumford, 